Hi guys. I wanted to show you real quick how to use skincare. So I thought as I jumped out of the shower um, after a microcurrent with me class, I kind of show you how much product I'm using, why I'm using it and what my skincare routine is. So kind of the first thing I do is I spray something on my hair so it starts to soften and it's not so tangly. And I love this micro needling roller. It's super, super shallow. So it's like 0 0.02, 0 0.03 millimeters, meaning it's like a cat kiss. It's not anything that's traumatic or challenging my skin in any way. And a lot of times this is something to consider, especially if you have your cycle going on or you're going through a tremendous amount of stress. We don't want to stress the skin out more than we need to. Um, otherwise, this is something I do every day. And I like this because it's like, if I can hit more space um, at one time and save myself, I will. We always say in aesthetics to cross hatch. And what that means is to go back and forth, right? Horizontally, and then to go something rather vertically, just kind of like into the vertical. You can kind of start to see a little bit of flushing. And then we go diagonally. So going diagonally, diagonally. And this doesn't have to be, you know, a long journey for you. I don't want you to get stressed out like, oh my God, I have to do this a half an hour. You don't. All we're doing at this level with this tiny minute amount of microneedling is we're doing two things. One, we're kind of creating little holes for the products to go through. Now, if you don't have a microneedling kit and you don't want to get one, that's okay because the products I'm using today have advanced delivery systems that do not require uh, aeration or any type of um, holes. But the other reason that I'm doing this is this slight aggravation on the skin signals the fibroblasts to come check out what's going on. So the system has a, an organized pattern to wound responses. And what it's doing is right now, the, the skin is signaling, hey, we have slight distress on the skin. So a receptor goes up and it says, oh, this is not a big deal. I can send the appropriate wound healing response that will create a really nice embryonic collagen versus a scar tissue collagen. What is the difference? So when we go in and we do heavy lasers, things that create heat shock, um, even radio frequency can create, you know, uh, more of a severe wound healing response. The body responds with a fibrous collagen versus an embryonic collagen. And this is what creates more of a hardening in the skin. And so when we use little devices like this, we're maintaining the structural integrity of the dermis and with the collagen and the elastin, but we're also creating a softer look, not a hardened look. Microneedling is really efficient because we aren't utilizing any type of heat. And so we're not sealing off or creating, you know, such an effect that the skin feels the, the need to protect itself. So you can kind of see again how I love this and how it's slightly angled. I can hit everything at one time. I'm using the Environ body roller. I love it because again, I can do my body and I can apply a body lotion. I can do my face and I can apply an appropriate face. So that's all I did, right? And I think maybe that was three to five minutes. The next product I use is the Neogenesis. I love recovery, but I'm a little overkill, right? Their serum is just as good. It's just, this has 70% of active stem cell molecules where the serum has 40%. I always just use, look, you don't need a lot. That's one squirt. Can you see that in my hand? Just one squirt, one pump. I always 
kind of separate it between the two hands and apply it in an upward fashion. And then I can get my neck. Now, if I want to put it on my decollete, I would do another pump because when you think about it, our neck and head are about the same as the broad decollete. And if you are 30 and you are um, not doing your decollete, do it now because I'm sure your mother is telling you about the wrinkles between her breasts and how it pisses her off and makes her look older than she is. If you do this, you don't have to worry about that so much. Also don't sleep on your side. So I always kind of wait about, I don't know, 30 seconds in between because what the neogenesis is doing right now is it's being absorbed by an exoderm. And that means that the skin, it's a fancy scientific term that you can Google if you really wanna understand it. But the best way to explain it in this video is the body understands it and receives it as something as it's its own. So it welcomes it in, it filters it through the stratum corneum and all the barriers um, positioned to protect um, kind of environmental factors that don't belong in our skin. And now it's going up and it seeks out distress signals from wounded cells or cells that are missing certain ingredients or information. And these molecules kind of flock to this cell and diagnose what it needs and then actually just form a little tunnel to feed that wounded cell everything that it needs. And that is the miracle behind this product. There are so many uses for it. Hands down, it is one that never leaves my beauty cabinet. The next one that I'm super excited about, and I have been using it in conjunction, is this elastin. Now the elastin has a trihex complex, and, and it's a fancy word, it's a peptide. But this peptide's job, peptide's job, is to go in and clean up the broken kind of malfunctioning collagen and the elastin in the skin layers and kind of clear it out to pave the way for new collagen to be built. They offer two different ones. This is just kind of the skin rejuvenating. They also have a nectar, which is really good. I have all of my clients start on nectar before we start microneedling or any type of advanced skin treatments in the clinic. Um, but if you're just healthy and in your 30s to 50s and you just kind of want a great skin changer, this is amazing. So again, one pump is only needed. See that pea size amount. Sometimes I get complaints by clients and they're like, oh, it's so expensive, it's so expensive. Maybe it is, but not if you amortize it over a period of time and not if you judge it on the results derived. Because you can go to Sephora, you can go to you know, some skin system or some somewhere on Amazon, like my clients do. I'm not saying you're the only one. Oh, look, you know, I got this fancy vitamin A and I got it for a fraction of the price. You know, you should look into it. Well, I don't think they're taking into consideration that I've studied vitamin A. I've studied delivery systems. And a lot of times what it appears to be a better deal actually isn't. So this product, I think, is a necessary product to have, again, in your skincare arsenal. They also make a product called Transform. And that, ladies, is for creepy skin, that creepy skin on our stomach, that creepy skin on our arms, right? When we wear um, tank tops. The next product I've been super excited about as well is um, this vitamin A. And I'm torn between this allelastin and my favorite Environ. So this is just stri stri strictly a retinol, an OL. And in another video, we're gonna get into the differences of vitamin A and why it matters. But I really wanna take the fear out of vitamin A. Vitamin A is necessary for your cells. It's especially necessary for the most abundant skin cell in your skin called the keratinocyte. The keratinocyte needs this for lunch and we're demanding so much of it. We're microneedling, we're radiofrequency, we're 
We're doing ablative treatments, and yet we are doing this on cells that have been starving, starving in circulation and blood flow, starving in, in just nutrition, and then not to mention if you're not taking supplements for your skin. So my third step is a really high quality vitamin A. And again, I mix it between my hands so you can kind of see it's there. And you always, always choose a different point of application, especially if you um, get skin treatments on the side too, because if you always put it here, the skin will wear down faster, especially if your esthetician does any type of enzyme or peel. Um, just a side note is anytime before you go to your esthetician, it's always best to stop vitamin A about three days ahead of time. So then I'm, after I've done all of this, I apply a really nice moisturizer. I like a light one. Today, my favorite um, is the light moisturizer. Again, by Neogenesis, it's a skin renewal, skin barrier protectant. I kind of put this on all over my face. And however long this video is, it's how long this takes me morning and night. It's not a lot to ask for beautiful skin that ages gracefully. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or you'd like to purchase the products, there's a link below. And I hope to see you soon on my next video. Thanks.